Hello, friends and students. Let's welcome back. So today's topic is how to cancel and uh, reschedule the SAP certification exam in real time as for now. Okay, let's see this. How we can able to do this one? Okay, first login. Let me show you here. If you log in here, this is my name and this is my SID. Okay. So here you can able to search your certifications if you really wanted to list of your valid certification. This I have already done. Okay. For example, if you come here, so once you like, you know, bought subscription, okay, or else uh, paid the fees, it is active here. So you can go to active purchased subscription okay now you can able to see this is my sap certification this is not from my side this is from corporate they have provided so 3rd july 2023 to july okay so here you click in this four months we can able to read and you know absorb knowledge to write examination click on access the certification okay it's not mandatory to have the learning hub to read about the certification now you can able to see this so this is basically we'll call it as an exam dashboard okay so now you can see this uh, i got this is my booking id okay this is start date and date and uh, out of two attempts i have finished one attempt okay that means recently i have done i told you right uh, as far as 2022 associate I have done. Okay. So once the result is passed or failed, it will come here. This is the place where. Okay. So now let's go to the exam appointments. Okay. Let me go here. It is a bit slow. So appointment means like, you know, so like, you know, these many, see, this is the history. So these many times, okay, I have canceled the examination. I'm going to show you now. This is SAP Certified Associate Project Manager I kept, okay. So like uh, I would like to write on March 23, okay, because I don't want to write it. So this is how you can able to cancel. Are you wishing, would you like to cancel? Yes. Okay, it's cancelled. So then if you go to the dashboard, okay, if you would like to schedule, you can schedule like this. So what is more important, I'll, I'll explain you how to schedule this. So so all these are the different list of, uh, you know, valid certifications, right? So let's see. So for example, this, I want to do it now. I select this. This is for sample only I'm doing now, whether I may write it or not write it. What is more important here, you have to maintain time zone. Okay. Then only you can able to do it. Okay. Let's take. So let's come to where exactly it is in Asia. Okay. Asia. So you have to find the city. For us in in India, for example, if you would like to write it, okay. What is the time zone we would like to prefer? I will show you Kolkata. Okay. So now you can able to see this. What is this? Asia Kolkata. You have to choose this. So when today also, just uh, if you schedule it uh, one and a half hour, like you know, sometimes ten minutes before also you can able to write it. Okay. Let's keep this. Let's keep it postponed to. April 25th so once I have scheduled examination like this I have forgotten I have forgotten so then examination got expelled of course I got uh, that is also worth only right so let's see let's assume I would like to write somewhere somewhere in between uh, I would like to write here. Let's let let's try to keep it.
11 am let's assume let's keep it Two thirty PM. Okay. Or else three PM better. Three PM. Okay. So once appointment is saved. So it will come like this. Okay. Exam schedule. So now go to the exam appointment. See if you are writing uh, the examination on your own way, you must know all those things. Okay, now it, again it is scheduled on April 25th, 3 p.m. This is how you have to, you know, cancel or reschedule the examination. How many times you want it? 100 times, 200 times in that stipulated time period, you can able to do that. Okay, so if you are not at subscribe, you can subscribe my channel. And all these are the different kind of real-time courses. And real time IDOC training. This is the course must everyone should aware of that before having their footsteps into the real time. Next one is getting master to write functional specification. This is the work you are going to do being a functional consultant. This is for everybody. And I have given simple examples on SD, but still anyone can able to access it. Okay. The process is the same. And all these are the different courses in SDS for Honor. If you really want it, you can able to give it right. <clears throat> that's all at my end thank you so much i wish you all the best thank you little tired today all the best